Hi, this is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting in Portland, Maine. Today I have a neat little trick for you. Let's say we want to have a great little database or list, but we don't have the full office professional suite. We don't have a database program to work with. Maybe that's your situation and maybe you really don't want to get involved in a very complex database. You just want to have a list of names and addresses that you can plug into emails, into letters, into envelopes, lots of different applications. Well, you don't need to have a database to do this. You can use Excel, and this is true for either PC users or Mac users. The version I have here is Excel for Windows 2010, but yours will look very similar. Even if you use a Mac, it might look slightly different, but it will have the same buttons. So here's my tennis team players. Some of the problems you can run into are, first of all, getting this title to center, um, getting this table to look kind of pretty this way, just because it's a little bit easier to read with the color and the lines, and especially getting your zip codes to come out right if they have leading zeros. So let's tackle some of these issues. I'm going to open a blank new workbook. Okay. Issue number one, we want to have a title at the top. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go over here on the left between number one and two, click our mouse and hold it down, pull it down a little so that that title is going to be a little bit taller. The next thing we're going to do is create our headers. So let's say I want to have a field called first name, another column called last name, and incidentally, the reason I separate them is so that I would be able to sort by last name later on if I want to. The third one might be address, city, state, and zip. I did use the tab key in between each of these columns to go to the next column. Now, notice that these are not wide enough to fit even the things I'm going to put in here. And obviously, a first and last name address might be much wider. The simple way to just change these column widths is to simply go up between the A and the B, and my cursor is going to turn. I'm going to click when the arrow is down. The cursor turns into a little line. Click, hold it down, drag it out. Select B column. Click, pull it out. Select C, pull it out. Select D, pull it out. Notice how you have to move that cursor there. Now I'm going to have plenty of space. Up here on line one, that's where I want my title to go. And I don't want separate little boxes for it. I want it to be centered. So I'm going to click, drag my mouse all the way across all of the columns. Up here, I'm on the Home tab, you notice, and in this alignment section, you see a button called Merge and Center. I'm simply going to click that, and look what happens. All those little lines disappeared. So I can click in there, and I can type my title. Let's see, Tennis Team Players. And of course, I can always go like this, select it, and make it just a little bit bigger. Now, if you have a Mac, you're not going to see the numbers change like that as you go over them, but you can still choose any size font you want. Okay, I'm going to click down in line number three and start entering my data. Let's see, Jane, use the tab key to go to the next column. Doe lives at one, two, three, Heaven's Gate. I'm making this up, truly. She lives with me in Portland, Maine. Oh, up here, that should have been state, not Maine. Okay. And her zip code is 04103. Okay, next is Susie Smith. She lives at 456 Smith Lane, also in Portland. Look how it filled it in for me right away. And Maine, 04102. Here is Darlene. Um, what's her last name? Latch. She lives at 789 
Pine Lane. She lives in a different town. Portland, Maine. Fort Falmouth, Maine. 04105. Okay. I have a few issues here. First of all, notice that my zip codes all say 4103, even though you saw me type 04103. I bet some of you have come across this a lot. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on 4103, just the top one. Up here in the number section, I'm going to click the arrow next to where it says general. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of this list and click more number formats. And what I need is a custom format. So click custom and notice that over here where it says general, that's not what I want general. I want five digits. So I'm going to type 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now I want you to notice what, it sh what happened in the sample up here. All of a sudden, 0 reappeared in front of my 04103. So all zip codes in my list are going to be five numbers. Click OK. And look, there it is, 04103. Now what if I plan to have a long list and I don't want to have to do that to every single one of my numbers? See the little box in the lower right hand corner here of this cell that I've clicked on? Just drag the box all the way down. And, oh, I don't want it to all say 104103. So you see this little box that appears? Autofill options. Click the box and select fill formatting only. Now, do you see what happened? It kept the numbers that I typed in, but it formatted them the same way. Final touch. I'd like to give this thing a little bit of color. So I'm going to click on first name, hold it, pull down, and select my entire table. There. Now I would like to format this as a table. See in the styles menu here? Let's pick a color. Before I clicked orange, why not do that? We're just going to click that. Yes, it says my table has headers, which it does. Click OK. And there it is. I'm good to go. And that's the tip for today.